In this video, let us see dynamics of circular motion. Velocity is a vector quantity. So it has got both magnitude and direction. Velocity of a particle can be changed in three different ways. If the magnitude of the velocity is changing, but direction is not changing, then body is moving in a straight line. This is the first case. Second case, if the magnitude of the velocity is not changing, but direction is continuously changing, then we call it uniform circular motion. Then third type, both magnitude of the velocity and direction of the velocity are changing. Then it is non-uniform circular motion. According to Newton's first law, every body continues in a state of rest or of uniform motion unless compelled by an external force. So if a body is to move in a circular path, a force is needed to change its direction. direction. You know that if a body is going in a circular path, there is an acceleration uh, which is directed towards its center. Here, this is the direction of the velocity. Here, this is the direction of the velocity. So, velocity is continuously changing. So, there is an acceleration. That acceleration is known as centripetal acceleration. So, a body cannot undergo circular motion without force. A force is needed. That force is what is known as centripetal force. So this is the expression for centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration is V square by R. Then according to Newton's second law, force is mass into acceleration. F is equal to MA. So, so we can substitute for this A. V square by R. Mass of the particle is M. So centripetal force is M V square by R. Then force is a vector quantity. Here R cap is a unit vector directed away from the center. But centripetal force is directed towards the center. So minus R cap. So we can write centripetal force in vector notation. Uh, minus mv square by r this r cap is to show the direct minus r cap so it is directed towards the center next you know there is a relation between linear velocity and angular velocity that is v is equal to r omega so we can substitute for this v you can write r omega and it's a square so r square r r one r will get cancelled so you'll get minus m r omega square then r cap so this is the expression for centripetal acceleration either this or this then centripetal force is provided by various forces like a gravitational force frictional force in the case of the motion of the planets around the sun orbital motion of the planets Centripetal force is provided by the gravitational force between the sun and the planet. Between the sun and the planet, there is a gravitational force. So in this case, centripetal force is provided by the gravitational force. In the case of a car moving in a circular path, centripetal force is provided by the frictional force between the tire and a road. Another example, in the case of the whirling motion of a stone tied to a thread, centripetal force is uh, provided by the tension in the string. 